The tropical fish, the orchids, the environment, these were the facilities that helped Changi set the standards for airports around the world. Unfortunately, where Changi led, others have quickly followed. And today, Changi finds itself in the uncomfortable position of sometimes no longer being number one. Which is down this way? Okay. Yep. All the way straight to the end and make a left turn. This is a customer experience agent. One of a number of new ideas, part of Changi's push to reclaim the crown as the world's best airport. In its 30-year history, Changi has won more awards than anyone else. In recent years, it's been rudely shocked by coming second behind Hong Kong and Seoul. We came up with three tenets or pillars of uh, service, one of which is to try to provide stress-free service, as stress-free as possible. And then we like to have a personalized service as much as we can. Just walk all the way straight down. And lastly, we like to provide a positively surprising moments as they come through our airport. Putting stress-free, personalized and positively surprising into practice meant providing something other airports didn't or doing it better. Whether it's a cinema to while away long layovers or free treatments to soothe those weary limbs. This is more fun than should be allowed in Singapore. They introduced the unusual to keep the young entertained and those just young at heart out of trouble. Hey! The latest addition is the customer experience agent. Enjoy Changi, sir. We're trying to help passengers who may not be frequent traveler, uh, seasoned travelers, to navigate uh, our airport. I can't see any of them. Okay. Well, that means they're busy uh, <laughs> helping some passengers uh, somewhere else in the terminal. Help. But you see them with the, in, over there, Richard. Help. What have you done? Um, basically. Everywhere from information booths to the toilets. The airport is screaming, we're listening. No, we were, it's part of our engagement, trying to listen to you. What All right, for? foul smell yes. and wet floor. Wet floor. And of course, none of this matters if the transfer hub of the future has shifted westwards to the Gulf. Yes, it's true that Middle East is now a convenient stopover, uh, but this doesn't change the picture that over in Asia, in the Asia Pacific, we continue to serve uh, still growing population, still growing uh, network of flights. 